Hey y'all, this your girl, the real deal, Anita Gill. Yes, like, share, and subscribe. We're gonna get this is uh, Miss Teresa Martin, attorney, and what he's gonna do. He's gonna get into into what happened and approximately the dates and the time that it happened to uh, Kanika. But we're gonna pay very close attention to what this man is saying. Some things that I believe in what he's saying, and some things that I don't. Okay, here we go. Okay, what 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 he's saying right here, y'all. I am a reactor, so I have to react. Um, excuse me for a moment. Um, what he is saying that uh, hold on, y'all. My dog is tripping. Okay, what what he's saying is, uh, he just wanted to know he's going to get into. Why and how all of this happened to Kanika on a video, they got it on recorded. But what was the uh, security at the whole time while the video was going out, going on, okay? Body was found uh, almost a, uh, a full day later, more than a full day later. Uh, why this tragedy unfolded? Uh, Kanika, as you know, came to the hotel as a guest uh, in the early morning hours of September the 9th. She uh, uh, apparently was intoxicated Stop. and wandered from the room and wandered throughout the hotel. Video surveillance at the hotel clearly shows Kanika wandering uh, throughout the hotel at approximately 3.30, and I'm not being exact. Video surveillance shows her entering a kitchen area that's under construction. Now, he said approximately 3.30. So, everybody who is doing uh, investigate, you know, who uh, examine this, uh, this uh, timeline, he said 3.30, approximately 3.30, y'all. So, y'all need to go from there and, you know, and get see what you can get from there. Y'all think it was 3.30? Stop. Pause. He said something that I don't agree with him. He said that she walked into the freezer. What make him say that she walked into the freezer? If he didn't know and he didn't see her walking through the freezer. No one saw Kanika walk into the freezer. There's no video of Kanika Jenkins walking to the freezer. So why would he say she walked into the freezer? And I'm going to rewind it. She couldn't have walked. You didn't see her walking there. Why would you say that? Clearly shows Kanika wandering uh, throughout the hotel at approximately 3.30. And I'm not being exact. Video surveillance shows her entering a kitchen area that's under construction. That's the uh, Murray Brothers Caddy Shack restaurant that's now been open since that time. That kitchen, the door was unsecured. The walk-in freezer and refrigerator were obviously unlocked. And uh, at some point, uh, Kanika walked into the freezer. 
freezer. The door closed behind her. Now, why would he say that, y'all? There's no, there's no video showing Kanika walking into the freezer. We don't know if that the moment was. Listen to what I'm saying. We do not know when it looked like Kanika looked like she snatched through there or walked through there. We don't know what was going on right there. All we know, Kanika could have walked from back over, from out of that area. Maybe that's a video just to show us, to make us think that she went into the freezer right then. We don't know. We don't nobody know. It, at that moment, the video that we saw Kanika when she walked through the kitchen, people. Doesn't mean that Kanika walked into the freezer. There's no video of Kanika walking into the freezer. Maybe when Kanika went through there, she came back out. Who knows? There's no video. There's no video. So what, that's the moment she was inside the freezer? Who knows? Who can say that? Nobody can say that. He can't say it and nobody can say that. Nothing showed us that Kanika walked in that freezer and walked out that freezer. All we saw was a body in the freezer. So allegedly nothing proved to us that Kanika walked inside a freezer. I believe that video was just a front to make y'all think that she walked that she walked in that area. All we know she could have walked back out that area. Cause she walked around they showed us the video of her walking back around again, didn't they? All right, y'all. Come on now. some point um, because she was clearly on video surveillance at some point that somebody secured the doors to the kitchen area and to the freezer so someone turned around what he's saying is lock the kitchen door and lock the freezer door it has to be somebody like a manager allegedly uh, security, they the owner too with a key. All right. And then too, you never know who got the keys to that place. Compartment where she died. These photographs. First of all, show. This is the construction. Stop. I'm going to tell y'all something. I got a problem with these two freezer doors that he's showing us. I have a major problem, and I know y'all do too. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section. He is showing us this door. What did door go to? Why is he showing us two different doors? He going to show us this one, and then he going to show us this one. That was taken after her body was found, y'all. Look at the door. So they don't change, allegedly change the door? This is not the same door that Kanika walked in and would let you to. So, so what did they do? Make another door? Created another door? Because this is not let This is locked. And that was now what member of the family we had sense enough to take that picture of that door? Who was it? Whoever the member of the family was smart enough to take a picture of that particular door, y'all. Why are we looking at two freezer doors? Now the family took this one. The family took this one. That's one freezer door, but look at this one. Did y'all hear that now? We're looking at the freezer door. He said the freezer door has a lock on it. That ain't the free same freezer door that we saw first. This is a lock that you can prevent somebody from the inside from getting out if it's pressed. And 
we believe that it's very possible that this door, for reasons that we cannot explain, without ever looking in the freezer, someone came and locked this freezer door. They said uh, allegedly that someone came and locked, uh, accidentally locked that door. So who did it? Why we don't know who did it? Well, they don't have to tell us. But this is one door that they showing us. Now the first door, some the family took the picture of that door. So was uh, Kanika Jinka allegedly moved around? All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all think about that. Y'all sit on it. So that Kanika could not exit the door. Now, there have not been adequate answers. Okay. Y'all tell me what y'all think about those freezer doors. I'm going to leave it like that. This is your girl, the real deal, Anita Gill. Do y'all think that was two different uh, freezer? Uh, do you think they did? They changed the door of the freezer? Uh, that's a different kitchen we looking at. Allegedly. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe.